Hello everybody! Today's video is about gaming laptops, powerful ones, and uh, what you should expect from, from it if you're gonna get one. So, for demonstration purposes, I'm using this Asus ROG laptop. It has Intel i7 CPU, that means 4 cores, 8 threads, and NVIDIA's GTX 980M single GPU. Expensive piece of equipment, full HD screen, 1080p, and uh, of course um, uh, these models come with anything between 60 and 75 hertz monitors, so uh, you know you should expect a pretty good gaming experience on this, but can the hardware manage to get that 60 FPS in the latest games and um, at the highest graphic settings. So this is the question today. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire up some games and I'm gonna um, show you what kind of performance you should expect and what, sh what kind of settings you would be using if you are looking into buying one of these. So let's have a look. Let's begin our test with Witcher 3 which came out recently. All the latest uh, drivers and patches have been downloaded for every game. Goddamn woman, stop pushing me. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. So uh, what I've done was I went to optimize the game through NVIDIA Experience app and uh, this, this is what it came up with. These are the settings. So AA is turned on uh, and uh, what I'll do is I'll run with these settings first and then I'll turn them all the way to the maximum and I'll show you, if you can see here in the top left corner, that's the frame rate. And what we're looking for is uh, for it to stay above 50, you know, in the best case scenario. That's, that's pr that is what you're looking for, is above 50. And I wouldn't recommend turning the AA off because even though it's a 17 inch monitor, it still looks pretty horrible. Uh, with AA turned off. And as we can see, it manages to stay above 60 in most scenes. And I'll just enter the forest here where there's lots of foliage and usually drops. So that is probably the lowest that you're gonna see in the whole game, um, unless there's something more intensive. I guess I've just started playing. Right, so yeah, basically. NVIDIA Experience did a good job optimizing this game to run at above 50 FPS. But now let's turn everything all the way to the maximum and see and see what happens. I'm even going to use the motion blur as well because you know, I just want to get absolute maximum. Actually, you know what? No, I won't, because it's just gonna blur everything out, and it will be a horrible video to look at. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to, to this. And Nvidia hair works turned on. Ultra, ultra. Oh, I can just hit ultra, and everything will be on ultra. So yeah, there we go. That's everything on ultra now. And let's have a look. It is barely staying above. 30 so yeah it's playable but it's not great but it's definitely goddamn impressive that a gaming laptop can do this I mean a few years back even I don't think anything like this would be possible uh, but now with the new technologies the Maxwell, Maxwell GPUs that uh, came out and um, it's handling pretty well, even on Ultra. Check this out. Right, so that's it for Witcher 3. Let's jump in to another game and have a look. Let's have a look at the game that everybody loves. It's GTA 5. And um, what you should be looking at is top left corner where you can see frame rate counter and um, that basically represents the performance. So what I've done was I've uh, went ahead and 
I've selected optimization through NVIDIA GeForce panel, um, NVIDIA GeForce experience, I mean, and this is what it came up with. So basically, uh, I'm going to do a uh, optimized optimized graphic settings test, and then I'll show you what it looks like if you max everything out. Well, um, so basically this is it, FXAA, uh, high, 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 very high, NVIDIA shadows, blah, blah, blah. So let's take a quick ride and see how well it performs. And it stays above 60, definitely stays above 60. So that's what we're looking for is for uh, 60 plus FPS in between 50 and 60 mainly. And um, it definitely manages to do that. So now what I've done is I've uh, turned up, I've turned up the settings. As you can see, MSA 4X, TXA enabled and everything else is very high very high nvidia shadows high and um, basically this is near to maximum near to maximum but the game would look very good on um, on the I, I didn't i didn't do any of these so yeah basically let's have a look let's have a look it still it still stays above 50 so let's just take a ride and see if if it'll change anything so still above 50 so that's fine oh dropped dropped a little bit so I, I, I'd suggest you mess around if you're going to use uh, uh, this uh, laptop to play GTA 5 mess around with the settings a little bit and just try and uh, see what Kind of settings you like because even when it was dropping just now uh, the gameplay is still pretty smooth uh, in GTA 5 in my experience for my personal liking 45 plus FPS is just fine so there you go and this is Far Cry 4 so let's jump into the menus and have a look at the settings so basically everything is set to ultra um, pretty much almost maximum and shadows are set to ultra as well uh, not using NVIDIA Gameworks because I'll show you why. Let's enable it and have a look at the performance. And the performance decreased drastically just because of the NVIDIA Gameworks shadows. As you can see, it's, it is below acceptable level, 37 frame rate. So let's disable that to Ultra, uh, set it to Ultra and have a look. Well, now it's better. 50 plus FPS and let's just uh, walk around a little bit. I'll do some explosions as well. So, let me just get to that car and um, blow it up. You see, it dipped to 40 FPS. Oh my god, We've got enemies here. So, there you go. Um, so pretty much this is not perfect for gaming, uh, but it's still it's still okay. So let's just lower the settings a bit uh, from ultra to very high and see what that's like. So that this is very high settings and see how that does. So 60 plus and let's do some explosions. It stays above 60, so that's fine. That is absolutely fine. So, pretty much this game on very high settings is okay to play. On ultra, nah, maybe if you tweak some something and turn some of those ultras to very high, then you'll probably get a decent performance. Or if you don't mind, a slightly lower FPS. So there you go. I hope that uh, this uh, video has clarified uh, what to expect from a gaming laptop. And uh, if you make up your mind, I don't know, you're gonna enjoy it or not, that is up to you. That is a personal preference. No one is, is in the right to uh, actually tell you 
if you should if you should get desktop or a laptop because you know you may be your needs your needs may be uh, varied to the person who's uh, using a desktop because if you're traveling or you're a student or just lack of space or whatever then gaming laptop may be the choice for you and of course uh, we're doing more we're doing more uh, reviews doing more experiments and other stuff here in this channel so if you want to check it out or just subscribe and stay tuned for more videos of course hit that like button if this video helped you out and until next time RG out <laughs>